All right, welcome back. As, uh, once again, it is uh, 2284 here in this particular game. We're well underway. We're getting uh, towards the mid game right now, and I'm really hoping that we're going to see the one of the fallen empires uh, rise up somewhere in the near future as uh, they awaken. As uh, all everybody else is uh, being starting to get kind of mean. Uh, there's four fallen empires in this game, by the way. Uh, one of them I have not discovered yet, but we got the Rectalar Guardians, the Froblaf. Yes, the Frobrolov Shard, and the Blorg Progenitors. Now, the Shard are mil militant isolationists. These guys are probably the most dangerous. They probably also have got a couple of shield worlds in there that are interesting. Uh, the Blorg Progenitors are stagnant, uh, enigmatic observers. That means they will do a whole bunch of science shenanigans. And then these guys, the Guardians, they're Holy Guardians, so there's going to be some... Um, there's going to be some Gaia worlds around here that they're probably interested in keeping for themselves. Anyway, uh, let's get uh, a wormhole system. Can I build one right here? Uh, we don't have wormhole access with these guys. Uh, of a trade deal. Yes. Wormhole station for 30 years. Uh, here's a mineral. They don't want minerals. Okay. Um... How about some energy? You want you want energy? Okay, they don't want energy. Uh, how about strategic? I got Teldar crystals coming out of my ass. Uh, by the way, that's not a comfortable feeling. Okay, they don't want that either. Um, okay. Um, how about I give you an active sensor link and you can have some of my star charts. So let's. Uh, you can get a research agreement with that. Star charts and active sensor link. I think that's fine. Uh, they won't be able to do much against me anyway, because they are they are superior, but I don't really feel that they're going to cause any problems, and that mainly has to do with the fact that we are in a federation, and they are an associate to said federation. It's something new, of course, uh, with an Heinlein that alliances no longer exists, and uh, they're all been replaced by federations, which makes the early the, the, the early the mid game far more interesting, in my opinion. Uh, mainly because you got, if you go to, for instance, this, uh, you got all these states that are pretty much working together, and that makes it for far more exciting little uh, gameplay, really. We got all the Teldar crystals on the world, which means that we need to build a Teldar factory somewhere, if we can. We have space for how much food you guys have? Five. So let's just change this to a Teldar factory, if we can. Or do we need to do it in orbit? Looks like we need to do it in orbit. So let's build a... We can do it. That's strange. It's annoying. What do you guys want? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Those are some levels. Let's take a look whether or not the troop uh, will give us some more stuff that I'm interested in. Uh, they are plus 100. So we can get them to organize a festival around our worlds. Uh, which we can nearly do. We just need 100 more influence to get it done. So that's definitely something I'm interested in. Let's take a look at these guys. Those are the traders. Uh, we can't get the strategic resource at the moment because they are uh, not particularly interested in that. But let's get a look here. Aid us in our research. 2,000 energy. Uh, the curator insight. Do we currently have that? No, we don't. So let's get a inside here. So right now we've got two modifiers here. One is the Patron of the Arts, which just costs us money, and the Curator Insight, which gives us plus 15 in every category. Massive bonus, to say the least. Got a war. Uh, there is some minor war going on. I think it's these guys, actually. They are an associate. Uh, they don't really are. They are not really interested. What are these guys? Uh, Alright, so they're next door to them. Uh, I am growing quite significantly right now. I'm not really interested in doing... Like, these are our vassals. So that's more territory for us. Uh, these guys are our vassals as well. Uh, can we integrate them at some point? Yes, we should be able to in 2294, which is in just under 10 years, which is more than enough time. Uh, in the meantime, the automated dreadnought is still floating around, so... Uh, Tigara Prime. Let's take a look here at our planets and sectors. Tigara Prime. Let's add this. All right, cool. So we got a 100 influence right now. We're going to do something I haven't done before, and that is add the uh, one thing to our world. Let's see if we can talk to them. Uh, apparently, they don't 
want to talk to us right now. That is, uh, here we go. Uh, organizing a festival, uh, it's a deal. So we've now organized a festival uh, on our world. So there's a festival of world happiness plus 15 and a growth time of minus 10. That is huge, huge bonus. Costs a fair amount of resources, like influence 100. Uh, that's a so-so, but the happiness factor right here. It improves our production values by a significant margin, and that's literally what we wanted uh, to s anyway. Uh, destroyers, uh, what does it actually do? It's just the build speed and cost that is lowered here, so I'm not really interested in that. Uh, I am, however, interested in screwing over these guys as much as possible. Uh, yeah, which is the... They will vote no. It's fine. Uh, I want to liberate a world. I want to liberate as much as I can, really. Um, I want to liberate Rongo if we can. It's 52. Let's do that. So that's the war starting. Okay, so we're now at war. Okay, so the, our alliance have now declared war in the Longoro Alliance. So basically, these guys are no longer... Uh, any problem to us whatsoever. We need to get a leader on this. Uh, we can't hire anybody because we just spent all that money on a party along on the old worlds, which is fine. Uh, it's just a long-term thing. Hyper shields in 54 months. Totally worth it. Very early for Hey, what's this? Due to the overabundance of happiness spread by the Festival of Worlds, some of the organizers have fallen in love with, wor with our worlds and stay there after it ends, settling down and becoming part of their empire. One pop is creative. That's awesome. We got new pops. Free pops. That's great. What's this? Uh, they want to migrate. That's fine as well. See, the thing about this particular play style is... What's this? Uh, that's easy. So one thing, one thing about this play style is because I am running Wormhole Drive, Uplift the Snakeoids, uh, that should be done in 58 months. So... Oh, well, cool. This is now in here. Traces of components. But the thing is, uh, the way my, my FTL works is I have a limited jump range. It's relatively quick. Uh, obviously, one one problem with this is the bigger your fleet is, uh, the slower the the jump time is, or at least the wormhole time is. And that's something you really need to watch out for. Oh, wow. This system. Okay. So we can take this. Uh, I need to destroy as many of their frontier outposts as we can to keep taking territory. That is my main goal here. I don't know really, actually, I'm not interested at all in taking any of these worlds. If, if, if the enemy takes these worlds, that's fine. I've got more than enough people to back me up to do whatever I want. However, if I can take down these, yes, good. So that's, that's now expanded, good. So right now they've got nothing in terms of growth potential for their worlds. So what I want to do is I want to take out their frontier outposts wherever I can and destroy them with maximum abandon. Is that even a term? Sweetie, is maximum abandon a term? It's not. Okay, it's not a term, but w it is now. So that's how this works. Uh, do I need a minimal? Pr it's not worth my while due to the way the bonuses work. Um, let's add a visitor center. Actually, we can we can afford. Actually, let's not build a visitor center. We'll build a visitor center on this tile instead because of the way the bonuses work. Um, it's a mining situation here. Okay, cool. So now this has been expanded. We're just destroying their stuff nicely. So, all their territory is now shrinking exceptionally quick. So, we're, we are releasing Rongo next. So, we got the cruiser. We can battleship in 66 months. Cruiser assembly yards or basic fighter wing. Antimatter power. Nice. Uh, we did lose a general. Not the worst thing that can happen. We just destroyed all their transport ships. So, they're pretty much dead in the water. Okay, so let's get this out in here. Uh, this science ship is going to be doing research, and it's going to be on a passive setup. And the called well is going to survey the system. I want you to be passive as well, because they only have they only have transport fleets at the moment. They can't literally do anything. But the antimatter power is just a huge bonus, to say the least. 
very useful in the long term. The more power you can get on your ships, the bigger your guns are, etc. So that's... Are you serious right now? Uh, I should have probably destroyed that. I need to evacuate this. Okay, that's fine. Antimatter hull. Yeah, that's fine. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation uh, updated. Agreed. Did I actually lose my science ship out of that? Hmm. Anyway, I won this war. Uh, liberate planets. That's fine. Uh, yes, you can migrate to these worlds. Rongo, you're pathetic. I want to... Why not? Cordial minus... Cordial at attitude. Uh, actually, that's asked to be their vassal. Minus 500. Why? Because distance. Bitch, I'm right here. Um, okay, let's build sign sh Oh, actually, we can build the cruiser yards now. So let's build those uh, and a sign ship to back that up. Yeah, our borders are growing immensely at the moment. Uh, we are... Here we go. What's this? Yes. Rongo wants to join us. That's good as a association. Okay, that's now done. Minus 30 for vassalization. The population's quite big, though. I can give him a couple trade deals. So I'll give him a bunch of stuff. For, like, forever. Okay, so then now they super like me. Uh, demand vassalization is still minus 30. Hmm. Construction complete. That is annoying. Okay, so our cruiser yards are all ready. Uh, peace offer, not really interested. Okay, that's all done. Construction complete. We still have this uh, spare science ship now, so we can... Uh, thankfully, we now have the resources to actually recruit somebody, so that's nice. Uh, let's get him on board. And considering uh, this right here, so let's do all the research projects in these systems as soon as we can. And then survey these systems while they're at it. Uh, these guys are vassal underneath. Yeah, they're they're actually at war with the Rolo Rolongo. Rolongo fight is Rolongo League. Uh, that's the Rolongo Confederacy, United Rolongo. So they're at war with the standard Rolongo. Okay, that's fine. Uh, they can easily win that war. Uh, it's this migration proposal. Construction complete. Yeah, the, 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 main, the main reason why we're working right now is, or at least how this is working, is we are actually kind of playing the system. Uh, hello, hello. The, the Federation Builders. That's nice. So we're kind of playing the system at the moment by using colony ships... Uh, to colonize any world that we can, even though none of our population can actually live there, and then using our migration treaties to just fill up these worlds. No problem whatsoever. So we can get very large planets built very, very quickly, very efficiently, uh, and expand our territory that way uh, without actually having to grow any pops. And uh, for a second there, my heart, fell, uh, my, my heart jumped as I saw this. Uh, ooh, what's this? Greetings, humans. As no doubt, we Blorg are dedicated to the study and conservation of low life forms in the galaxy. Our studies of your species determined the United Federation, United Nations Earth, is unlikely to last for more than a few centuries at best. Well, thank you, assholes. To ensure continuation of the human species for uh, blah, 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 an endangered species preserve. It's minus five happiness, or we can displease the Blorg progenitors. Uh, the minus five for ten years is acceptable, especially considering we're running, uh, a, oh, that's a mine? Does so we just put a droid on there? There's already a pop on this tile. Okay, that's fine, because of migration. Anyway, uh, they'll be, they'll like us in the future, which is important for us. Okay, so, Rongo, do you want to join us yet? Demand vassalization, minus 32. Relative power of empires. They only have one system, right? Yeah, they only have one. S well, they got two systems, technically. But Let's send our fleet home. Uh, fortress. Let's go for something cheap. Actually, no, we need to get the engineering facility, too. That's more important right now. Ships upgraded. Okay. 
Snake Oil, it's uplifted. Excellent. So let's go to Sirius. Why so serious? The joke is old. And as soon as this is done, we're going to go and assist this research. Too many colonized systems. Where is this? Is this the snakeoids? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, this is the snakeoids, isn't it? Ooh, a Situation smuggler raid. Updated. I haven't seen one of those in a while. One transport ship. Okay, let's go and do this research project. Uh, the snakeoids. Where are you guys? It was this guy, wasn't it? Stranger danger, according to reports, the newly uplifted snakeoid citizens grow anxious. Uh, we need to give them Xenophile, really. All right, so this world is now within our grasp. Should grow fairly quickly, so let's upgrade this as fast as we can. We've got minerals on there. Uh, there is no drop. Sh oh, right, they're currently building a reassembled ship shelter, which is fine. Uh, but look at all these minerals. This is massive. I'm going to keep them within my empire. Uh, collectivists or individualists? We want to make them individualists because of the research bonuses. Right now we got minus 10 on energy and minerals a turn. So, uh, okay. Uh, martial democracy, they, they're they interested in joining us again. So there's a couple of wars going on. I'm not too worried about that. What I am worried about is these guys. Oh, cool. 1,000 energy and 1,000 minerals. I'll do. Okay, and our ship's being upgraded nicely. Wow, and our fleets are super powerful. And there's the Empire Capital Complex that I wanted. So let's build ourselves a ship. Uh, a cruiser. Uh, we want torpedoes. Yes. More torpedoes. Yes. Medium weapon slots. Let's autocomplete this design. Uh, it's super aggressive because it's basically torpedoes in your face at point blank. And we got a crystalline. So, torpedo cruiser. And we'll auto upgrade that where we can. And it's got afterburners as well. So, it means it's super quick. It's exactly what we want. So, let's save this design. And let's build another cruiser. One for a little bit more long range. So, medium slots on this one. And this is all plasma accelerators. And... Uh, we only have the intermediate one, so uh, so brawler, cruiser. So we have a nice nice mixture of ships here that we can use. So let's build uh, the two torpedoes and two crew, two brawlers, and two here and two here, uh, and more torpedoes. And that should probably put us at our naval capacity. I really want to add these guys. Ooh, we can invite them to the Federation. Nice. Oh, cool. They're now part of our Federation. Construction complete. Cool. I like how the the build, it says Federation Acceptance Factor. So if they're in the Federation, we can actually not... F What's this? Curator Exploration Lab. What is this? Advanced technology from ancient curator order in order to, sur to increase sur for survey speed. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go and take this. Okay, so the alliance has been joined. Let's upgrade all of our ships. Um, yeah, these guys, they hate them. Uh, they are... How do they feel about us? They actually are our rivals. So, man, this is all alliance space. I really want to join these guys to our federation. Uh, in fight the federations minus 1000 and it has mostly to do with the differing war philosophy and the fact that nobody really wants them to join us at least of people that are in the federation okay these guys as well they are interesting uh, in fight the federation yeah it's mainly because the lorongo league of tribes actually does don't want them uh, so the my the bone uh, the negative is is rather annoying. Also, our cruisers just did a number on our economy. Uh, okay, uh, let's get some more stuff going on here. Oh, there's a lot of energy available actually. Soon as this soon as this building is done, we're gonna we're gonna boom our economy like mad. Same with this as well. Uh, Alpha Centauri, 
Uh, I'm not going to upgrade it to the next network level. Okay, cool. So we can build a basic mine. Oh my god, there's so many minerals here. As well as energy. It's kind of staggering, really, how much energy there is on this planet. Okay. Uh, did I build a visitor center? No, I did not, but I will now. Uh, and more energy, really. It's mainly the bonus here for uh, the exceptional min mineral quality, which is 50% bonus to minerals, which may not seem like a lot, but believe me, it's, it is, especially over a longer period of time. Uh, tile blockers, yes. I'm kind of worried about this. Oh, yeah, that's probably why. I could let these guys join a sector. I'm actually tempted to put them in their own sector. Just to give them a little bit more... Uh, yeah, just to put build like a, a, a sector that is completely ba built around minerals. Yeah, so this sector right here... That's this one. They need energy, though. Uh, you are... Close. This sector is going to be completely focused on mineral output. And they can do whatever they want within that sector. We'll put a leader on there as well because I'm feeling nice today. Uh, blocker costs. That's only minus 15 now. That's doable. Oh, all right. We need to change our government. So a neural network administration. And we can almost change that. Once we have the Empire Capital Complex done as well, we'll be able to get an additional uh, blast of material a month. These guys are... Can we integrate them yet? No. As soon as this is integrated, we can kill off this frontier outpost. Uh, there's no planets here that we can really do anything with, so... Okay. The Gulf Orbs. Yeah, these guys don't like us at all. Um, how 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 powerful are they? S they are they are equivalent in fleet power uh, versus us only, and comparatively with the rest of the federation, they should be significant. Yeah, here there's a five thousand level five thousand fleet right there. We're kind of already at the po we're starting to get towards the point where we may start to be able to fight the. Research. Give us, give us, why not? We'll never, okay, fair enough. Okay, uh, border range. How long is it going to take? 27 months, deal. Uh, afterburners or battleships, too long, too, uh, it's all the same. Afterburners or engineering facility. Engineering is something we're lacking, but battleships are cool, so battleships is what we're going to get. Because, you know, the rule of cool. Oh, somebody died. F somebody researching Voidcraft. So we're going to put you on there. And that means that the Jaeger, which is this ship right here, not to be affiliated with any of the drinks called Jaeger. Why are you? Oh, you're on Sirius. Okay. So the Jaeger will be assisting research on this world. And there we go. We're at minus three now. Our energy becomes a little bit more manageable. Uh, the Scientician. We could probably try to trade some minerals for Construction complete. energy. Okay, so uh, it needs to be the other way around. Um, for minerals. So a thousand minerals for... No, it's the other way around. So here you go. So a thousand energy for 2,000 credit... Uh, for 2,000 minerals. I think that is pretty doable, and they'll like us for it. Don't want us... Because our income is plus 70, so it's not really a problem. Okay, so... Earth is almost ready. These engineering facilities coming up. There's more energy. Ah, yes, finally. So, these tiles I've been waiting for for a little while. A, because Batharian Stone, and B, I'm going to plan nothing but... Um, labs on there because it's important to do so and there's food here as well how's the food situation plus two and we still need more energy but i'm gonna add instead a visitor center just to make them a little bit happier also i think i can, can build no i cannot that's a shame 
for a second there, I thought, you know, maybe I can build uh, another elite squad, but apparently not. Uh, these guys, integrate them in one year. It's going to probably be fairly expensive. Okay, Empire Capital Complex. Construction okay. complete. Yeah, we got minus five. Minus five from the... From that. Construction complete. And our fleet is pretty strong. So we've got torpedo class cruisers. Let's put a leader on here. Logistics. All oh, that. This weapon range is also very, very good. I'm kind of tempted to make a run for the. Uh, for the Dreadnought. So let's go into our ship designer, build a new Corvette that's torpedoes only. Put a plasma accelerator on there and space torpedoes. Does a lot of damage. And yeah, crystalline. That's good. Can I put one more deflector somewhere? No. So torpedo uh, frigate. Or capital buster. Construction complete. So they'll be flying in straight towards the enemy capital ships and should be able to completely annihilate them uh, at uh, close range. What's this? Uh, association status is fine by me. You can have all the association status that you want. Cool. We can remove this. Let's get you some minerals in there. Has it been cleared yet? No. But Therian Stone, however, is what we want. Science Labs, Science Labs, and Science Labs everywhere. Even if the other bonuses are better for other things, right now I'm thinking, you know what, Science, we're kind of lacking behind in some of these categories. Uh, let's take a look, actually, at our friends. We're equivalent in Science on a lot of things. Uh, superior on this one, even. Let's use this. Uh, I'm good, thank you. Is there anything we can... We can actually science this down here. So let's science... Uh, one moment. So let's survey this system, this system, and these systems if we can. What's this? Uh, do you have a? Re oh, okay. It's the Holy Guardians. Uh, they're not really all that keen on talking to us, and we need to increase our jump range anyway. So more wormholes. Uh, our Overlord has died. You know what that means? It means we can hire another Elite Guard. Very nice. Exactly what we want. Oh, thirty percent. That is pretty decent. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're pathetic and they're friendly. We can kick them from the Federation if we want to. Are we leaders right now? No, we're not. Another leader has died. It's a governor. Failure, of course. But we're still by far the strongest dudes on the block, so let's change this to a neural administration for our science. Give us a nice boost. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah. So surrender our population. Uh, the happiness is going to be done shortly. It looks like we lost our modifier to science. So we're going to need to talk to these guys again. Uh, yes, it's only 2,000 energy. I know that we're currently not very looking very good on the energy department, but we can always buy energy from uh, the other one over here, I think. Construction. This something. one. Yeah, so we can always buy uh, energy. Yeah, that's easy, easy choice. So, going bankrupt is really not a not a thing anymore. Uh, curator exploration. Yeah, there we go. So, hyperlane mapping, very useful, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I think these guys, definitely these guys, are using. Uh, let's take a look here. And they're using hyperdrive technology, and that means that we can find exactly where they are doing their things. And we want to get around that as much as we can. In the meantime, let's just upgrade all of our stuff. Habitability. Uh, how long is this going to take? 46 months. Have we anything cheaper? Naval capacity. Yes. Uh, Earth. So this ship 
has been upgraded. So the Jaeger has been upgraded. And upgraded. Construction complete. you're going to be assisting at Alpha Centauri. Uh, this world, does it have a spaceport? Yes, it does. Cruiser assembly yards. Not really all that, all that keen on that, to be honest. Mm, this little minerals. The Batharian Stone Labs, however, is what I am looking for. And I need... I want us to do a pretty balance right now. Physics on this one. That's pretty decent. This mine is upgraded. But yeah, we're uh, we're doing just fine. Oh my, look at the time. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.